if you are a web to developer then this framework will save a lot of your time so what happens generally when you build any dab no matter you are building nft marketplace or a simple dab all of those dab will have some common features and functionality like you will have a feature where you will allow user to connect their wallet with a metamask sometime you will take any information nft or any assets and you going to upload the data to the ipfs sometime you have to reflect the ens name of the address so these are the some old repetitive function which you have to write any every single every single dap you build and which you don't like it and that's a time consuming process as a developer so this library will help you a lot and it will saves a lot of your time because once you utilize your library in this in your project and that all you have to do is to import the component once you import the component it comes with all the pre built functionality you don't need to write any single piece of code all you have to do is to import and it will have all the functions if you want to do the customization you can easily do that so in this video i'm going to give you a complete overview that what are the component it has and how you can utilize it and if you guys really want me to make a dedicated project on this then do let me know in the comment section that you guys want a project so i definitely come with that and i will show you everything that how you can import and everything okay but in this video i'm going to show you the entire cool features you will find here the official website it's called web3.ui.getup.io on the left hand side you will find all the component which this library provide you so okay so let's explore each one of this one by one so the first one we have is this blocky i haven't checked this that what it is the second one we have this block number so all you have to do is to pass the hash transaction hash and it will give you the block number of that particular transaction that's pretty easy okay so that's what it is if you come here right now you will find nothing because we have to pass the data and the best part is that this is the function this is the component they have connect button okay so all you have to do is to import this component into your project and you will have a button like this you can easily be able to customize that and the moment anybody will click on this they will have this model where they will have this different options to, for connecting their wallet that's cool if you want to build this component it will take almost half an hour for you to design the entire component for designing the entire function okay it will take more than 1 hour to come up with a design like this but it's so easy with this component all you have to do is to import it and you will have that one so if you click on this the metamask will open and you can easily able to connect that so here we have this ens avatar component in that all you have to do is to pass the address of the account and it will tell you the information it will give you the informations like the ens name and that's pretty easy okay and here we have this ipfs component so if you want to upload any file to the ipfs all you have to do is simply import that one so they have this two files so they have the text file and the with icon one so you can easily able to switch which one do you want so we have this icon one they have this two design one which you can pick any one if you click on this here it will open the pop up and you can simply able to upload the data that's pretty cool okay that's pretty cool here we have this native balance so if you want to check the balance of any any fund you can simply import it and you can will have the functions here we have the nft section so right now we can't see anything in here so let's turn this false so this is how the component would look like you will have all of this information you can easily able to pass the information as a prop so i hope that you have you guys are familiar to the react concept the same logic it follows here all you have to do is to pass the props and it will reflect the data here it looks really beautiful now here we have the transaction so here you can see this is how the transaction would look like let me bring this up here and here you have to provide the chain id you can easily able to configure all the transaction key and you will modify that one that's pretty cool you can see here we got this button if you click on that here we will have this model which will reflect the transaction so just imagine that you can easily able to utilize this component in a uniswap decentralized exchange where you are allowing user to do the swap of the token so when they will do the swap you will have a model like this which will reflect that uh, like the chain id the transaction and all the information which you want to just display here and you can easily able to configure that so if you want to change the name you can do that very easily that's you can see this is the function name we have this is the name we have provided you can change the theme you can customize everything now if i come here let's bring this down and if i come here so here we have the form components all of these components are the form components so we have the button component in that you will have multiple button options you can pick whatever you want so if you click on that you can see there is an actions and it will automatically make the call in that you have to provide this details and you will have all the information that's pretty cool okay so they have multiple button options this is the check box wait so it looks pretty good that looks pretty good you can see automatically this call to action is added on that 
So all you have to do is that if you want to make an API call, if you want to store in data in the back end and where you are allowing user to do this check mark. So all you have to do is to attach it. And in this, you have to pass the function name and you already ready to go with that. And you can easily able to customize this very easily. Here you will have all the controls. So you can easily able to switch the layout section. You can pass the data as a form of objective, which will set the data and you can start it up. So these are the checkbox we have. This is the code area we have. So you can simply check that one. So if you want to utilize it, you can utilize it very easily. So tons of things is here. You can see if I try to explain each one of these, it will take a lot of time, but you can see they have bunch of methods. The best thing is that they have this Web3 component and these are the component you're going to use in, in every single tab, in every single tab you build. So I must tell you to come at least and read the documentation that what they are providing you and how you can utilize it in your in your upcoming project. In the last video, we had discussed that what makes good developer and bad developer. So these are the tools and technology you have. You can easily utilize it in building your project. It's not always necessary that you have to reinvent the wheel. You have to utilize this one, which will save a lot of your time and you will focus more on the code development, not wasting your time in writing the same old function. Okay. So hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you guys. And here they have the entire docs which you can follow. So here they have mentioned every single thing which you have to know. So if you come to the button section here, they have mentioned the button. These are the button. If you click on this, it will show the code. So this is the component you have to simply add in your project and you will have that one. That looks pretty awesome to me. So tons of things they have mentioned. I want you to come and explore. This will save a lot of your time and it will help you a lot. And that's will make you a good developer and a better one who will build that app very fast. So hope this video makes sense to all of you guys. And if you really want to know anything else, and if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to make it a video on that and I'll try to clear it out. And if you guys want me to make a project on this, utilizing this component, then do let me know in the comment section. Definitely I'll come up with that and I'll show you that how you can utilize this in your project. With that, I'm ending this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. If you still have any confusion, any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. I'll try to help you with that. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.